If you're planning a bikepacking trip in 2024, it's more than likely that you'll be choosing a rugged gravel bike as your companion. In fact, it's now the bike of choice for most riders seeking off-road adventure. But which bike to choose? Well, get shreddy, because these are our top five adventure gravel bikes for 2024. Released in 2021, the Canyon Grizzle was one of the first bikes from a mainstream brand for serious gravel riding with a full complement of bikepacking luggage. Built around a carbon frame with ample 50mm tyre clearance and multiple frame mounts, this is a bike with adventure at the forefront of its mind. The Grizzle CF SL8 features a full Shimano GRX RX810 group set with a 40 tooth chainring and an 11 to 42 tooth cassette. Our testers found it to be enough to crank up almost all climbs, even when loaded up. Mountain bikers will feel comfortable with the geometry. It combines a long reach, short stem and moderately wide bar to provide off-road stability, while helping create the necessary toe clearance for those large tyres too. The Grizzle is available in a huge range of sizes and spec combinations. You have the choice of a suspension fork or a carbon fork, and either a dropper post or a VCLS split seat post. If we could pick one, we'd want the incredibly cool Grizzle CF SL7. Look at that retro paint job! We reviewed the Grizzle way back in 2021. If you want to check out that video, then click the link in the description. The latest Atlas is all about big mile adventuring. In fact, Focus has designed specific accessories and racks to get the most from the Atlas's load-carrying potential, including this interesting-looking adventure rack. Available in either carbon or alloy, the frame has slim seat stays and a robust fork, making it a perfect choice for a loaded bikepacking adventure. Due to the combination of long reach and short stem, the Atlas is quite a long bike, which we found resulted in a smooth ride feel. The slack 70-degree head angle provides confidence while going downhill. Super short chain stays still make the bike playful and agile, and it's a blast to ride at speed. It's decently priced too. For £2,999, you get the Focus Atlas 8.7, which has a carbon frame, DT Swiss 1800 wheels, and a Shimano RX810 group set. Jack Luke reviewed the Alloy 6.8 Atlas and gave it an ecstatic review, saying that the ride was notably confident and controlled off-road, particularly in steep or rough terrain. And, to quote him directly, the bike is almost jarringly easy to ride no-handed. I cannot recall another gravel bike I have tested that is so carefree to ride sans phalanges. If you want to watch the full review and see Jack doing just that, then there is a link in the description. You don't have to spend thousands to get a capable off-road machine. The excellent Marin Nicasso starts at $899 and tops out at $1,699. For this very reasonable price, you get a capable bikepacking bike with decent components. Built around a sturdy and comfortable steel frame, you get mounts on every surface to carry all manner of bikepacking bags for multi-terrain adventures. It comes with dependable alloy gravel wheels and WTB's brilliant Horizon tyres. These huge 47C volume slicks will make every ride cushiony smooth. The Nakaso is built, and don't be scared here, around a group set that is neither SRAM nor Shimano. Instead, it's equipped with MicroShift's Advent components, a one by group set combining simple drop bar levers with right hand only shifting. Our senior technical editor, Warren Rossiter, tested the system out and was complimentary about it, saying that it's almost as crisp as Shimano and as fast as SRAM. The only thing you might want to change on this budget bike is the Tektro mechanical disc brakes, which miss the power of hydraulic equivalent brakes. Other than this though, Warren says that the Marin Nicasso is incredibly fun to ride. It handles serious off-road terrain with aplomb and positively encourages bad behaviour. At 13 kilograms for a size large, it may make long steep climbs that little bit harder, and the middling brakes may make descending a little bit more of a test of nerve. But when you realise that you've spent less on your whole bike than your fellow riders have spent on wheels, you'll find yourself falling in love with the Nicasso that little bit more. Minnesota-based Surly Bikes certainly does things differently. Be it long wheelbase hauling wagons, single-speed cyclocross bikes, fat-tired tourers, or this tall and chunky gravel machine. 
The Surly Grappler takes the basic outline of a gravel bike with drop bars and big tyre clearances and switches things up to make a very unique bike. If you think it looks odd, then you'd be correct. It has a Frankenstein mix of geometry numbers with a tall stack of 641 millimetres, a long reach of 458 millimetres and an even longer wheelbase of 1,162 millimetres. However, our reviewer found that this resulted in a bike that was comfortable, stable and excellent fun off-road. In keeping with these intentions, the Surly is built with mountain bike adjacent components. The steel frame has huge clearances, designed to work with both 29er and 650B wheel sizes. It has massively wide 1148 tooth cassette, a Trans-X 100mm travel dropper post and boost spaced hubs. The Grappler has enough mounts on it for any bikepacking expedition. That includes triple mounts on the fork legs, triple bottle bosses on the top of the down tube and a further three mounts on the underside. There are further bottle bosses on the seat tube, plus mudguard mounts and rack bosses. This is another bike that has opted for microshift for its drivetrain to keep costs down. All this leaves a bike that costs $1,899 or £2,350. For a gravel bike that gets you off the track and into the wild, this mountain bike-esque offering is a solid choice. But what do you think of its looks? Let us know in the comments. Though the Diverge was already a well-known gravel bike, when the Diverge STR dropped in 2023, it turns everyone's heads, and not necessarily in a good way. Let's start by addressing the elephant in the room. That bit on the top tube is the rear suspension. It gives the bike 30 millimeters of rearward flex, which our reviewers said was genuinely effective at smoothing the ride. Though we found it tricky to set up, once on the road, it was actually very controlled and super smooth over chattery fire roads. Like a lot of the suspension systems, it has three modes, open, closed, and firm, which you can control on the fly via a lever. Beyond this headline grabbing design, the Diverge is a capable and versatile gravel bike. It comes with the excellent Future Shock 2.0, which gives around 20 millimeters of bump absorbing travel at the handlebars. You also get a Roval carbon wheel set, an alloy cockpit, a carbon seat post and a mullet drive chain. This pairs a SRAM rival ETAP Axis 1x crankset and shifters with a SRAM GX Eagle mountain bike rear derailleur and a 12 speed 11 to 52 tooth cassette. Our testers found that the Diverge was gloriously smooth off road and that, once dialed in, the future rear shock system offered a ride like nothing else. As long as you can handle all the curious questions that it will attract, this is a bike for off road fun. We made a full review of the Diverge last year. Check out the link in the description to learn all about it. Don't tell the bike industry this, but you don't even need to buy a gravel specific adventure bike to go bikepacking. Half of the fun of riding off-road is challenging yourself and pushing the boundaries of whatever bike you happen to be riding. As a team at Bike Radar, we are notoriously bad at taking our bikes on terrain they aren't designed for, and that's all part of the adventure. More seriously, many bikes can have parts swapped out to make them more gravel friendly. Fitting wider tires, wider handlebars, and even parts like flexi seat posts or suspension stems can transform your road bike into an adventure ready machine. You will be sleeping in ditches with the rest of the gravelistas in no time. So there we have it, our top five gravel adventure bikes. What did we miss? Is there a gravel adventure bike that you love? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and if you want to see our adventures, then check out this video.